New at 5.30, two Detroit firefighters were injured fighting a house fire that spread to a five-story apartment building. Part of what made fighting that fire so difficult was that there wasn't enough water pressure. 7 Action News reporter Curtis Jackson has more from Detroit's west side. A source tells me it took thousands of feet of hose and two pumper trucks to battle the blaze because there simply wasn't enough water pressure to do the job, raising a serious issue at City Hall. <laughs> at the corner of Rickton and Lawton, a two alarm blaze rages out of control. It spreads from a vacant four family flat to a five story vacant building next door. City officials say dilapidated mains couldn't generate enough water pressure to douse the flames. When you get a large structure fire like this apartment building and you have multiple units attached to all these hydrants around this same area, you tend to draw a vacuum because you're pulling from the same main. Firefighters called Detroit Water and Sewerage to increase the flow, but both structures are a total loss. Two firefighters are hurt. We can produce enough water and get the water to the homes and we can also have enough water for fire protection. It's when you have a massive fire that we will have an issue. The need for better water mains is tied to the fight over rate increases at City Hall. Unless council approves the hike, officials say the city won't have access to the millions it will take for new mains and gates that will keep the water flowing during a firefight. It will allow us to have things open and full as we would like it to be, so we won't have too many of these issues where we have to redirect flow. Investigators suspect arson is the cause of this blaze. The two firefighters who were hurt are in good condition and breathing on their own. In Detroit, Curtis Jackson, 7 Action News.